Hello everyone and now welcome to game one in a series between Yumiko and three. Yumiko spawning as the blue human player over here on what I'll call the four o'clock position of Turtle Rock. Meanwhile on the other side of the map three spawning under the name Blind as the Red Night Elf. This was taken from the WCA and well let's just go ahead and get this game started as things are getting underway. Uh, one thing I do want to say Excuse me. Um, I do realize that I've been coughing a lot, lady. I actually had that looked at. I was at the hospital the other day. Um, had to get an EGD. And apparently I have something called dysphyxia, which um, they're going to double check and make sure that it's all all right. But hopefully, um, yeah, might need surgery, might not. Just wanted to guys give you an update. If all of a sudden, for some reason, I am unable to give you a very, very long um, or a little bit of a heads up on what I've been doing lately. If you guys don't hear from me from a while, I may be at the doctors and just trying to take care of a couple of things as we are now already looking at an Archmage. Pulling aggro over from the Ogre Warrior Creep Camp. Going to be bringing in some Militia over as well. And the Militia will make short work of this Ogre Warrior Creep Camp along with some footmen and water elementals there. All right, so this water elemental may decide to back off here. No, not going to back off. Actually, just going to tank all of that damage there as the militia now finishing things up. Gloves of Haste now picked up as well as we see three has quickly, quickly gone for um, a very, very fast warden. And the warden with Shadow Strike getting some damage already onto that Archmage. Now the warden is going to have to do a lot of tricks in order to really make any real traction here. The warden does not have that much experience or that much mana taking a lot of damage as well it does not have a very very high armor count only four compared to a demon hunter's five and if it does try to engage here it may actually um, take a lot more damage you than you would normally expect meanwhile the footman has scouted out his opponent's side of the map does see the hunter's hall but notices that it's still a tree of life so it looks like we may be going into huntresses here more of a 1.5 tier group of um, grouping now the big deal is going to be whether or not the Archmage can easily get to level 2 and then eventually level 3. Once that Archmage is at level 3, Huntresses generally fall off in their effectiveness just because two Water Elementals with their high piercing damage and their range is more than enough to handle 3 to 5 Huntresses. You can see there's an Ancient of War th there and I believe that there is another Ancient of War here so we could be going for dual Huntresses here in just a moment. Meanwhile, the Warden is still trying to put down a lot of pressure and hasn't really been successful as of yet. All right, is she going to try and do a Shadow Strike on any unit? Not that I see as of yet. Meanwhile, back over here, there are Archers who are Shadow Melded, and that means I am going to be switching here just because Invisible Units are so hard to spot. There are no Observers on this map. The colors have been swapped around. I apologize, but I'm sure all of you observant, observant Warcraft 3 players know who is who. Anyways, let's go ahead and break things down once more. Yumiko not wasting any time. Quickly, quickly going into um, some fast expanding here on the map here. Staff of Teleportation coming in. And the Warden is going to be making a little bit of a play here. Shadow Strike could be used down. No, it is not. Huntresses are now being brought over. And the Archmage will be able to get to level 3 here in just a moment. Now, the Warden could try and go for a steal here. That could be a very big deal. And, and no, the Archmage does get to level 3. Wanda Mana Stealing now taking a away some of the mana from the warden as the archmage now at level three with the wand of mana stealing going to have level two water elementals be dropped and also starting an expansion attempt the huntresses are going to have a very very difficult time getting anywhere here as the archmage with brilliance aura should be able to get one arcane tower also has one water elemental there trying to time the two water elementals as best as he can to make sure that this expansion is not going to be a problem 31 to 39 damage so that means on average it will deal 50 damage per attack 50 damage per attack onto those huntresses one one splash of those water elementals and all of a sudden a huge huge drop off or, or a huge loss of life right there also huntresses do not have that much life to, or that much armor to begin with as you can take a look back over here the ancient of war may try and tank this creep camp but the archmage is very much nearby level three on that archmage as the warden is still trying to get to level two footmen may be coming in for a little bit of a flank there is a manual of health that is going to be picked up as the footmen are now going to have some easy access to a few ensnared units however an ancient of war now attempting to engage here ancient of war now looking to back off archmage 
um, Archmage now coming back with a chase here. Warden losing a lot of mana. Is he going to be able to get off another Shadow Strike? It does not look like it. The Warden losing much of the mana to that Arcane Tower as it now tries to back away. All right, Huntress is now trying to get away as well, but a wall of footmen pretty much trapping these units. One Huntress looks like it may be able to get away. Another one, no, Scroll of Town Portal used instead. And it looks like the Scroll of Town Portal will be just in time as the Warden able to teleport back home to Huntresses. However, things are not looking good at all for the Night Elf. Night Elf significantly behind 26 over 50 supply compared to 38 um, and 38. That is going to be a very big deal here, especially once this Town Hall is already up. Arcane Tower and a Guard Tower protecting that expansion as the Ancient of War now going to try to come into position, but this is not going to be good at all. Another wand of mana stealing charge being used as the water elementals should be flowing rather readily. This water elemental just now placed down and the Archmage should be, not have to wait very long for a second water elemental to join the ranks. One low hit point footman looks like it could get taken down here, taking a lot of damage so far. Arcane damage and it looks as though the little footman will end up getting taken down as the Warden now trying to do a little bit of superficial damage onto these towers this huntress is not going to be able to make it gets taken down by a guard tower here and this is more of a desperation move by the warden now than anything else things are not going well and it looks like three is just in a world of hurt you can take a look ancient of lore now being constructed but will end up being canceled as the ancient of war is now trying to come back over and fight wisp now being brought over as a last minute attempt to try and do some detonations there goes two water elementals right there as the war archmage and the warden are now getting closer in level however very very low moon wells mean that the home field advantage is not going to be all that much archmage gets another easy kill Hill there as we are still taking a look at a warden who is just shy of level three using up a clarity potion and a moon well or a moonstone to try and fill up those moon wells as quickly as possible economic advantage currently belonging to the human player yumiko level advantage currently belonging as well so th things are just going to go from worse to worse unless the warden can at least get to level three you can take a look the warden has not yet trained that level two ability may go for a blink here in just a moment and yes does end up blinking away multiple misses right there as the warden is currently hidden all right moonwells will be forced to be used again you can see that the warden still very low is he going to try and use a clarity potion as well in order to get away you can take a look a lot of Mana lost right there. And um, as we can see now, things just coming back around. All right, um, we can take a look. Warden still. Um, Warden still now trying to dance back around here. Is the Warden going to be able to get off enough damage here? Yes, be able to take down one footman. Warden will get to level three, but the Water Elemental still causing problems. And the Dryads, unless they're able to abolish magic enough. There it goes, finally taking down one of those Water Elementals. So yes, there is now Water Elementals joining in on the fight. You can take a look back across over here. Footman now, all of them very, very low or very high on hit points as the... Archmage quickly uses a clear a potion of mana, I think, and now trying to take down the Archmage. Archmage may end up having to retreat here in just a moment. The Warden still has plenty of mana and will be able to get on some easy shots. All right, are we going to see a blink on that Warden? Warden able to blink away as the Footmen all now teleporting back home. All right, this is a little bit of a reprieve right now. 4-3, but 3 still has a long way to go in order to get back even in this game. He did not technically win that battle. He just forced a retreat, but Yumiko didn't really lose all that much. Warden still sitting at level 3 right now, though. Archmage sitting at level 3. And you can take a look. Footman perhaps now teching defend as well as we are going into a workshop. Do we have defend? I don't know if I saw it earlier, but we are going into a paladin as that second hero. Paladin as a second hero will be able to keep those footmen alive for a much, much longer time. But you can take a look at what's going on here. The Archmage still not um, having all that much here um, to really work on. All right, the Dryads could try and do a little bit of slow poison onto that Archmage. Archmage does have boots of speed, so maybe able to finish off this Archer here. As this Archer will be forced to double back around. Nope, the Archmage did decide to give up. All right, Archmage still in a very, very strong position. The economic advantage um, cannot be ignored. The sheer number of footmen that we're looking at from the uh, human side of the army, I got to believe that he's above 50 supply. Yeah, at 53 right now compared to 34. And right now, Yumiko is just 
playing this game extremely safe. He knows that he can build a critical mass of units very, very easily. And all really the warning can do now is hope to get to level 4 and perhaps rely on that being enough. A tree of life has been placed down across over here. It could start entangling this gold mine here in just a moment. You can take a look at that tree of life now. Perhaps needing to eat some trees. The warden very close to level 4 but has no easy way to get back home. All right, finishing off these ogre warriors here in just a moment. There's level four as we now see. Um, no, nope, no, nothing off over here. A little bit of a break in the mini map saying that there is something here and here when there is, in fact, nothing. Tree of Life will, in fact, start entangling this gold mine off to the north. So the economic advantage may become moot now as Yumiko now trying to get back higher up. Paladin is sitting at level 1, did do a good bit of healing there, and may even get to level 2. Meanwhile, back across over here, you can take a look. Ancient of War tanking a lot of damage, but instead going to actually just fall here as we see a quick abolish magic take down that water elemental. Warden still in that front line, though, but has no easy way of regenerating generating hit points. I don't see any bears as of yet. No fan of knives. That warden is going to be in a very big um, a very big problem in just a moment as the paladin easily gets off a holy light to try and heal. All right. Warden getting in a little bit of damage there. Holy light's got to be coming in, but the dryads now in a, f a massive, massive retreat as the mortar teams quickly make their way over and just launching those um, well, mortars. All right, let's go ahead and continue to make a little bit of a I best estimated guess at what's going to be happening. Warden selling some items, picking up a Tome of Retraining. So it looks like it is going to be perhaps Blink and Fan of Knives. But is that going to be enough? That is the question. Warden now making its way back down over here. You can see the Archmaid now sitting at level 4. Paladin sitting at level 2, going up against a single level for Warden, and the Warden here may be able to get off some easy fan of knives. All right, there we go. We are going to see an engagement here. Are we going to see a fan of knives? That is the question. There's a fan of knives and a whole bunch of units just taken out in a split second there. We should be seeing another teleport back off to the top. Warden now should be drinking those moon wells as quickly as possible as there is a lot of damage um, or a lot of damage to do. That Warden still not yet at level 5. Are we going to be getting... Yes, there is that uh, rejuvenation as the Warden hopes to stick around long enough. Spellbreakers are right here as well. There is a back fan of knives, but the Mortar teams just too well protected amidst all of those units as the Warden unable to really finish off any of those units. 38 over 50 supply. Mastery training now coming in for those bears. Mortar teams finishing off Moonwells. And, and pretty much three shotting any of those or three lobbying any of those units here. All right, let's take a look. There's a fan of knives. Warden still wandering around over here. Dryads may get taken down as we take a look at another dryad going splat there. All right, blink now being used to quickly get away as the archmage quickly uses. Uh, Dust of Appearance. Archmage still has plenty of mana. Now finally drops a Water Elemental. Was maxed out on mana for quite a bit. And we're still looking at Yumiko with this slow, slow push. And I gotta believe that there is nothing that the Night Elf can do at this point. I believe it is going to be a GG here as Anti-Magic Shell. There's a fan of knives. But we are going to see a handful of Holy, of holy Lights come in. Saving all of those units there, and there is the GG. An easy, easy victory for Yumiko as we now move into game number two. Thanks for watching. Thanks for listening. Hope to see you guys on Battle.net.